So this will be the agenda of this uh, complete React JS uh, training, which includes what is JavaScript, why React JS, what is React JS, what is the concept of Virtual DOM, and what are the various React JS applications out there which are using uh, real-time uh, applications which are built on React JS. So. What is React or we'll start specifically with JavaScript very quickly. We know JavaScript is a dynamic programming language. We can use HTML5, CSS3 or CSS4, and then we can manipulate both CSS and HTML attributes of the page. This is a basic JavaScript understanding and what are the advantages of JavaScript frameworks? So there are many frameworks available out there. You can use any of the frameworks you want, but as of now, in my opinion, Angular and ReactJS are the most, you can say famous, and most widely adopted uh, JavaScript frameworks across the globe. So we'll talk about ReactJS only in this particular uh, training. So if I talk about advantages of JavaScript framework, they are very efficient, very much secure, and you can say cost effective. So they are very well structured, uh, having some pre-built functions and patterns which you can use during the development. Security, yes, top JavaScript frameworks, they are generally supported by large communities or members and they, the users will act as the testers for these kind of frameworks. So I will say these are much secure. And if I talk about cost, the ultimate price of a web application is lower as most frameworks because they are open source frameworks and uh, code is freely available to the programmers and the developers to build custom applications. So what are the various JavaScript frameworks available? These are most of the famous ones which I have listed over here. You can see on the screen. So we'll talk about ReactJS in this particular training. This is a JavaScript based framework. Angular, Ember, Meteor, Vue.js, Knockout.js. These are some different JavaScript frameworks available out there. So I was talking about JavaScript frameworks. We'll focus on ReactJS only. So if I talk about React, React is an open source JavaScript library. Please remember this is a library, not a framework. This is used mainly for creating, you can say, rich user interfaces or experiences that run in the user web browser. It completely focuses on, you can say, uh, providing rendering and event handling capabilities. So we'll talk about ReactJS only. So React was introduced by Facebook, developed by Facebook. And you can see this is the old Facebook page. You can see on the screen a very old Facebook page where each time you have to refresh the page for the new updates. This is a very old Facebook page. And what happens in ReactJS, actually there are some different concepts in ReactJS, which starts with dispatcher, store, and view. So it starts from view. View sends some action to the dispatcher. Dispatcher sends an output to the store, and then store again sends the output to the view. So I will say it's a one-way data flow or one-way uh, data rendering in ReactJS. It's only one side data flow, which we will see now. So what are the drawbacks of tradi traditional data flow? So it uses basically DOM, which is document object model, more memory consumptions are there, and it's of slow performance. Performance is very, very important. But if I talk about ReactJS, that how ReactJS work, and what are the various problems which ReactJS is solving, so there is a concept called a virtual DOM ReactJS, which we'll go, which we'll see later. Now, if you see this example, this is a boy. This is very sad. What he want to do is that these are the four boxes: one, two, three, and four. He want to write some code, and he is writing some JavaScript code. And what happens is that he want just want to change this one. He wants to change this one, but what happens? This two, three, four also gets loaded on the page. So if you see here, he writes the code complete DOM gets loaded again. So if I go back, if I show you the example again, this is the one he wanted to change it to 101. He wrote the code. He is sad. You can see his face. And he, refresh, he refreshes the page. The complete DOM gets loaded again and one change to 101. Now, if I talk about ReactJS, now you see the boy is very happy because he's writing the code in ReactJS now. And the same application he want to implement that he want to change this one. He writes the code, one gets changes, and 101 comes up. But two, three, four remains as it is, which means that the DOM is not loaded again, which is document object model. And here comes the concept of virtual DOM, which I will talk about a little later. Now, why ReactJS? If I talk about, as I told you, that only the view gets refreshed, not the dispatcher, not the store, not any action. Only the view, which is there in the browser, gets refreshed in the browser itself in ReactJS. 
Now, DOM manipulation with ReactJS. So, as I told you, there is a concept called virtual DOM. So, DOM manipulation, you can say, this is the heart of uh, any modern interactive web, DOM manipulation. But unfortunately, it is very slower than most of the JavaScript operation. And this slowness of the DOM is made worse by the fact that most JavaScript frameworks updates the DOM much more than they have to. Continuously, uh, let's say there is an update of the DOM which makes your application very slower. So basically the question is what makes your DOM manipulation slow? So basically if you see the DOM is a tree-like structure. DOM is a tree-like structure, a data structure you can say. So because of that the changes and updates to the DOM are fast. But what happens that there is lot of re-rendering or repainting of the UI which makes this DOM slow. Therefore, more UI components you have on the page, the more expensive the DOM updates could be. So what is the solution which ReactJS come up was the concept of this virtual DOM. So what happens in React for every DOM object, there is a corresponding virtual DOM. So for every real DOM object, there is a corresponding virtual DOM object. It's a very lightweight copy, you can say, of the real DOM. So what happens if this is your browser, this is your real DOM, in between you have a virtual DOM. So whenever there is a change in any state of the object, it will automatically handle the visual changes via virtual DOM. So as I said, ReactJS is an open source JavaScript library introduced by Facebook. Please remember ReactJS is a library, not a framework. So if I talk about MVC model, that is model view controller, it is only the view part. It is only concerned with the view part, not the model and not the controller. This is very important to note over here. 